Hi friends. In this video, we'll discuss how to print your data grid view value. Okay, let's start. Create a new project here. Pro application name will be print data grid view. Click on this OK button. Yeah, this form text will be print data grid view and form start position center screen. Okay, yeah, I need data grid view. Okay. Yeah, change this name okay. then I need a uh, three buttons here I need one label name this text box this will be button previous and then button text will be previous symbol this will be button next button text will be Oh, sorry yeah button text will be greater than symbol button next and then this will be button print text print this label name will be LBL page number Now we will add um, entity data model. So right click, add new item. Yes, select data and ADO.NET entity data model. Your name will be model. Click on this add button. Here select EF designer from database. Click on this next. Yes, select new connection. Yeah, server name dot uh, we can select the database stock uh, click on this ok button here your yeah, data model name will be stock entities click on this next button your yeah, entity framework 6x next your yeah, expand this tables option dbo here select this products table click on finish this entity data model table looks like this okay now in form we need print doc print document and we need a print preview dialog okay here properties in document select print document one In data grid view right click here choose data source here add project data source here select this object click on next here expand this one expand this here select this product table then click finish okay now we have three columns inside this data grid view okay we can edit the table now we can edit the columns here so i just want to um resize this okay i modified the screen okay now let's add a package in manage nuget packages 
your search page door list. Here we have to install this page list. Click on this install button. Now this package is installed successfully. Then close this new package window. Then in form one, here add this namespace. Using page list inform load event using stock entities db equals new stock entities inside that page list. This one within that we have to pass the table name product. So object will be list equals db dot products dot order by. So here product code order by product code dot to page list inside this to page list we have to pass parameter um, for that uh, first int current page equals 1 integer page size equals 40 okay pass this two parameter here current page and then page size okay after that button next dot enabled equal list dot is first page then button previous dot enable equals list dot is last page then lbl page number dot text equals this format is string dot format within that we have to specify the format within double quote your page zero backward slash and then one within comma um here we have to pass the uh, page number and a page count. Okay. First one is the page number. The second will be page count. For that list dot page number comma list dot page count. Finally, products binding source dot data source equals list dot to list okay. now we will write code for this button next so copy this code And pasting here if button next dot enabled before that current page will be increment. Okay. For button previous if button previous dot enabled. In previous means current page will get a decrement now we'll write code for this print button here we are declaring integer variable height equal to data grid view dot height here 
integer variable height will be data grid view height then data grid view height equals data grid view dot rows row count count star um, data grid view dot row template dot height multiply of 2 okay. then we are uh, BMP bitmap object of BMP equals new bitmap inside that yeah will pass data grid view width and the data grid view height then data grid view data draw draw to bitmap inside that will pass bitmap object comma new rectangle okay inside that we will pass the values rectangle means first point location 0 0 then uh, width and height so width will be data grid view width and then height will be data grid view height then after that we are getting the data grid view height Finally, we will show the print preview dialog box. Print preview dialog dot show dialog. Okay. Now, here we have print document. Go to events here. Here we have print page. Double click here. Inside this, key dot graphics dot draw image. Okay, inside that uh, image object will be BMP. So we have to declare this bitmap object here. Then only we can use publicly. Okay, now then point will be zero comma zero. Okay, save this and start the application. See this output window here we have the form print data grid view form here we have only four records if i click this next button so there is no records in the second page there is only one page okay it's in previous page if i click this print button it will show the print preview dialog okay then close this okay guys i hope this video is helpful to you Thank you for listening. See you there in next video.